Welcome back, I scared Gabe. <laughs> Sporked. To Nexus Corpse cracking open another unboxing with the boys, because Saturdays are for the boys. And I'm the boy. And today we're going to be unlocking the very much unlocking? hyped. Unlocking? We're going to be unlocking, not unboxing, the, unlocking. Very, the yeah. very hyped Blaster Aichi Sendo Legend deck. I love blueberries. Because... He's who a new character? Who apparently. didn't love Aichi, right? I so, guess. we've got a Royal Paladin Clan deck that comes with a fully made deck with a deck box, little little card there to keep track of your points, and uh, we get two copies of a Religious Soul Saver promo, kind of like with the Overlord deck, and uh, in this one, we're uh, we're gonna. Crack open and see what's inside here. I'm gonna just destroy this box right now. Alright. So starting off, we got some nice plastic here. Yes, very nice. Some scotch tape. Oh yes. We're gonna unflip this. Right now we already right away we already see our very, very nice deck box here. We got blaster blade exceed. Sit in there looking looking the same as he always has, you know, Blaster Blade is always the same. We've got Aichi on the other side of the deck box, very nice. We've got our our very classic playmat with our two copies of Religious Soul Saver. Very, very common doubt Soul Savers indeed. Uh, kind of optional card to run if you want to. I'm gonna run it because, you know, crits are nice and plus five to three rear guards are nice as well. We've got our promo uh, Royal Paladin Aichi card, so that you can people will know if you play Royal Paladin or not. You can keep that. It also makes a good bookmark, you know, if you actually can read cards. We've got our uh, power counter right here. If you don't know how to keep track of math, how do I do math? I don't know, man. I, I've been trying, you know, for the last like 13 years. Math is hard. Uh, kind of cool picture. Ooh. We got a first guide so we can finally learn how to play this game. I don't know how to read. You're right, you know, I don't know how to read it. I don't know why I opened this. And we got our very nice, here, let's open up this uh, Aichi Sendo Matto. Mat Matto. This is for you, Matt. <laughs> oh, oh, we got classic Aichi up there, we got- Do they tell us how to be good at this game? The history of Aichi Sendo. Wait, legit? Let me see that. The Rise My Avatar, anime. Blaster Blade. I love animes. I love His Japanese bonds with too. Kai has strengthened the power of his imagination. Oh my gosh, they even show throughout the series. We've got MLB, Ezel, Monarch Alfred, and even the Wait. Blaster Joker Wait. Legion, Wait. but with the not matching art photon. Wait, let me see that. Look, we got all this his is avatars. There he is. It's great. Wait, Matt, I'm, Matt, I'm triggered we don't see Gantz Richard, a lot, though. It gets better. Turn to the mat side. There aren't circles! No circles on the mat. Alright, let's get this out of the way. This is tr that's literal trash. Alright, let's get into the important part, which is the deck. So, starting, eh, starting off, let's go into the Blaster Blade section. We've got our foiled copy to Blaster Blade Exceed. XD. Exceed skill, because I can read, is uh, when your G unit with Saver in its name strides, you can counter blast one and search for up to one Blaster Blade and put it into your hand. So you can search for this or any other Blaster Blade that exists in this game. And then his other Does skill. Does that include Blaster Blade Dark? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does, child. Thanks, Dad. And his other skill is when this is placed on Vanguard or Rear Guard Circle, you can counter blast one and, and retire a grade one or higher rear guard in your opponent's field, which is nice because we now have a card that works on both your Vanguard Circle and Rear Guard Circle as a main ride target. So that's pretty chill. I love retiring and non-retire base decks. It we makes got, me feel alive. We got four copies of that. Oh, you didn't pull the no, sick. Nope, you suck I, at this not game. Not good enough. Then we got... Our G guards. So for once, we finally got G guardians in our uh, legend decks. We got Great Flash Shield Assault, which is counter blast when it's put on guard. It, if you have a Vanguard with Alfred or Blaster, you can get plus five shield for each of your rear guards. You get two of those, man. It's great. Then you get Champion of Silence Galatine. Edgy. You got two copies of Galatine. 
one foiled, one commoned out, as if you know one needed to be foiled to begin with. His skill is uh, if you do not have a blaster on your van or rear, this gets minus 2k. So that kind of sucks because this whole deck is kind of Alfred blaster based, but you know this one is like if you ride Alfred, it still gets the minus 2. That's great. That's hilarious. Yeah, read it, man. Whoa, hold on. And his other <laughs> skill is this gets plus 5 shield if you had GB1. That's great. But it's okay because it's a 10 day vanilla, so it's a good ride. To oh, it's not even a ride target nope. because it doesn't have blaster. You, you can call blaster blade a rear and it'll still keep the 10k, but if it gets retired, it's back down to 8. It's if it's on van or rear. Oh, you need a blaster on the field though. That's easy yeah. though. Next we got Knight of Virtue, Persi I mean Bedivere. That's funny. I appreciate that. We got four copies of that. Ooh. Ooh, well, I'm gonna go around this because I already, already saw it. We got our SP Blaster Blade. Wait. It's not SP, it's just text boxes. No, it's whore. SP. There's no texture. You're right. That's kind of, that cut low key sucks. It's just it's I mean, flat. It's, it's better than that one manga one where all the text box goes down like yeah, one column. Yeah, that is gonna I like this. Nice, we, get a, we got a blaster blade. It's my first blaster blade I ever owned. Wait, actually? It is. I had like, I had like six at some point. Lamel, I never owned a blaster blade. Sucks. Now I do. I pulled one in every single one of those BTO one boxes we done, we did. Oh yeah. I pulled a blaster in every single one of all like three. Next we got Wingle Youth, which is a Youth. really good card because it's on hit or on boost. It can do a skill, and it's uh, when it hits or boosts, you can look at the top seven for a blaster blade, and if you do find one, you move it to the soul. So it's got. So it's like that one Luard Owl thing. Yeah, but it's got it's got early game potential, but also like. Late game potential. Yeah, but it also like, you kind of, for me personally, I kind of want to keep my blasters in the deck if I can. So, but, but basically the target for this is usually Xseed XD. in general. Yeah, XD. Blaster Blade XD. And finally we got a, a, finally a good PG in the Legend deck. We got Bringer of Divine Grace Epona. Because it's an unflip and yeah. not a counter. No, it's um, an unflip, not a no, drop, not a drop and, draw. and draw. Where the other ones were mandatory, where if you had a copy and drop, you had to draw and drop. Where at least with Epona, it's like the like the other shield. I forgot her name. It's Knight. I think it's, it's Knight of... Holy, Holy Knight Guardian. Holy Knight Guardian. Why do I know that? I don't play fucking trading card games. No, no. So yeah, good, good. Legend deck is this legend deck is great because it actually gives you a good PG and f four copies of it. Wait, Richard. So what you're saying is we unboxed a pre-made deck and it's good. Yeah. That's a first. We got four copies of Flogel, but not the Flogel you're actually gonna be ending up running. Flogel. We got. So then we got that. I mean, you could still run that Flogel because that's, that's true. Critical. And we got all art Margle because you know who wants to run the same art Margle when you could have an all art. We got four does. Which is, oh, the new one's better on. New one is better. Like real talk. So uh, let's get all these guys out of the way. Except for Blaster Blade, he can stay. Did that rhyme? I think it did rhyme. What did you say? I said, except Blaster Blade, he can stay. Blade doesn't rhyme with stay. Well, it, it kind of, close no, enough. No, it doesn't. All right. We got four copies of our Alfred G unit. Divine Knight King Alfred Holy Saver. See how it's got the word Saver, so now you can use it with the stride skill. It's actually pronounced Shibaraku Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's triggered in the distance. Oh, fuck. This is still up for you, Matt. Oh, this sleeve ripped. Rip. Um, let me fix this. Get good. There we go. Uh, Divine Knight King Alfred Holy Saver. So, skill is GB2, flip a copy of itself, uh, and discard one from your hand. Pick a card with Blaster. If you have a heart with Alfred or Blaster, you can do the skill. And if the skill is pick a card with Blaster Blade in its name, so anything that has Blaster Blade in its name, and give it plus VK and Twin Drive, basically, for the first battle. So it's good. And it's like, it's like Shigeru's Buster, but better. better. <laughs> you, you do have to discard at least. Yeah, right? you still okay. have to discard. But you know, it gets Twin Drive, guarantee if you're on XD. Right. Also, you know, the whole no soul blast, and if you have Gansel Daddy, it gets resist, so no denial. Yeah. Driven. Shout out for you, Gansel Daddy. Gansel Wherever Daddy. you ride. Gansel at Peace Saver will save us all. I love no cost critical quad drive. Yup. Holy Dragon Myriad, Myriad Soul Saver, Myriad Soul Saver. It's, uh, it's Myriad. 
Learn how to read. On attack, Soul Blast 3, give 5 rear guards plus 5k if you're on an Alfred or Blaster Vanguard. Good skill. I like it. Simple as that. Next, we got the Grade 3 that everyone's going to be getting rid of uh, once they start updating this deck. Three, uh, four copies of Blazing Twin Blades, Palamedes. Palamedes actually has a pretty decent skill. Palamides. The only problem with Palamedes is his ability only works if you have two grade three rear guards on your field. Does it count itself? Because it says when this attacks, if the number of other grade three or greater units is two or more, then this gets plus 10k. So it doesn't count itself, meaning you have to have this, a G unit and another, or a grade three and a G, or a G unit and another grade three for it to get the plus 10k. Bridget, where are you? Right. So this is actually, it's good because it gets plus 10k and it's a 21 beat stick, but it's low key worse than the original Palamedes grade three. So, Sudge. I love how Alfred's horse looks like it's on fire. Same. Was it, Alfred's horse was always on fire. But like so much more so. It used to like just look like, like a red mane, but now it's actually like burning. Two, four copies of Star Hope Trumpeter. This card's great because it's just put it down and grab any card from your deck you want. I love how it's actually just no restrictions. Yes. Just take well, a card. I mean, it's yet to have an Alfred or Blaster card. That's the restriction, man. Oh, no. And it gets plus 3k. <laughs> All and right. You were going to run that one Starlight Violinist. Lamau. You pleb. All right. Three copies of uh, Knight of Benevolence K. Uh, K combos with, uh... K. Same. K combos off with, uh... Bedivere. Bedivere. Where is he? He's right here. Wait, actually, let's, let's, let's find out. Do they? Do they? They, they other way. They... No, you're right. You got the right way. They match. They lead... No, I think you were right. No, no, no. it was the other way. The, right. the original art was that way, I think. Wait, oh, yeah, it's they this way. Legion. There you go. Oh, the original Vanguard Legion was Knight of... Um, was King, King of Sword and Queen of Heart. Right. So Kay's skill is uh, if you... They kind of work where it's the matters of which order you place them. If you play Bedivere first and then Kay... Okay. You get to unflip. If you place K first, then Bedivere, you get to Soul Charge. But if you place them on the same time, time you get to Oath. do both. Alfred Oath confirmed forty dollars <laughs> or something. Are you running? Alfred no, Oath? no. Alfred Oath can't even call these guys out. Because they're not. They're not Sanctuary of Lights. Light. Oh, another your... reason why why Alfred Oath is somewhat garbage. Somewhat, it's pretty terrible. Yeah, no, no, okay. The only cards with Blaster or Sanctuary and Light in this game are literally Blaster Blade and Blaster Blade Exceed. There are no Sanctuary of Light cards in this Legend deck, making Oath kind of useless. What's your backup grade three gonna be? Okay. Alfred Exiv until oh, Lou comes out. Oh, right, because you can Legion with the original Blaster Blade. Yeah. Oh, right. another reason to get the amount of TDs so you can still get multiple copies. I yeah. realize it's busted. Three copies of uh, OG. We got we got Marin's back, man. We got little Tactician Marin. Marin has the exact same skill as a uh, Star Hope Trumpeter. They're literally word for word the same thing. When they're placed on rear, Alfred or Blaster Vanguard, search for any card you literally want and give it plus 3k. So that's nice because, you know, fill up the field for one Counter Blast. But it has to be called from hand. So, you know, you can't like Chain. call this and call that. Counter Blast and, yeah. 5. Hope into Marin <laughs> into Hope into Marin and then another Marin for a lot of numbers. We got Bargol! Bar Blue Scud Bargol. Unbanned Bargol plus. Plus. Plux. Uh, we, it's basically what all the starters did, except this one's better because you can search for any blaster and it's not a grade 3. So this one is... That's dumb. <laughs> Counter Blast, put it into your soul, search for up to one Alfred or Blaster in his name, and add it to your hand. So you could add uh, Bark Goal or Blaster Blade Grade 2. It's GB1. It's GB1. Rest my, my B. So Blue Scud, Bark Goal, but we all know Wingo Brave's better. That's why it's a $15 card. Gross. All right, we got Lou is back, but he's a vanilla. Uh, you know, vanilla crits, just like Flogo, once foiled, rest are common. Yeah, and finally we got Elaine. We got Yggdrasil in Yggdrasil in Yggdrasil Yggdrasil maybe. <laughs> it inherited Elaine. This art's kind of weird because I don't know what's going on right here. It Wait, looks, let me see. It looks like it looks like it's got like some, oh right, it has some like, kind of blade in its hand. I think that's the the tree. That's the Yggdrasil tree. Like it's a branch. 
I okay. think. Something, something's going on there. Kind of sad because we got foiled uh, foiled heal triggers for Royals, but like... We were getting a skill heal in like a month. Yeah, we're getting Fire's Collection heals, so this is going to go away like soon. And then we'll but all yeah. have foils to heal triggers yep. with skills. But for now, this is probably your go-to heal for the Legend deck, because you get four, yay, yeah, this so... one is shinier. So this was cool, you got one Blaster Blade in the whole deck and stuff. I didn't get to pull our, uh, our little uh, hot stamp yet. Not fucking yet! Fully foiled! So I decided to waste a hundred bucks and get four copies, or four boxes of this thing. So we're gonna see if we can actually find a hot stamped uh, Blaster Blade Exceed. Also, for anyone out there, it's not even a waste because for four, not only do you get a fully foiled of everything, you get four copies of Blaster Blade in total, which is like a twenty dollar card. True. Blaster Blade play basically pays for your Legend deck, so if you don't have a single copy, get four. It's actually a good investment. This and is me. This is me, Gabe, <laughs> telling you a good Vanguard investment. He, for this once. is Gabe telling people to play Vanguard. All right, here you go. How far since, we've come. Since we're actually just gonna be opening these up, let's just skip and try and find hot stamps. Oh, I'm busted. Where is we it? Got we it. We got it. We got it, boys. We got it. And for Illuminate the darkness, blaster blade. We got our hot stamp blaster blade. So we can see. just throw this one out, right? Yeah, right? We totally don't need four foil. Let's trash it, yeah. Real, thanks man, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so we did. I was that was the one that I said that definitely wasn't it. God, I hate myself. Well, we, we got one more, but we already know what's in it. Man, I'm missing a I'm missing a foil. Where'd it go? We haven't opened all of them yet. No, but there should be five foil blaster. Oh blades. right, Wait, here we go. All right, we we got our four foil Wait, blaster blades. The real question is, we're good. Did we pull two foils? There might not all be the, from the same box. Wait, you're right. We gotta see if we got one more hot stamp. If you pull both, you plus like mad. No, I'm not good enough. You don't, you're not good enough to pull two things out of four. Rip. Oh well. Loki, you plus real hard because you got four blaster blades and the sig. And the sig. So, yeah. Oh, here's some garbage. Nice. So, yeah, if you uh, if you really want to build this deck as competitive as you can, I would recommend probably getting four of this because you can get your four blaster blades. You get your foils, and you're probably going to be running Lou in the deck anyways. So having your four blaster blades is going to be really important. This so, is a high-quality deck box, real talk. Right. I'm gonna going to throw out a little shout-out to BC Universe, where this is the website where I bought my four Legend decks. So I got to all four, free shipping. And uh, yeah, thanks BC Universe for- We're uh, sellouts, but they didn't tell us to do this. True. This is, they, this is, this is totally me saying thanks to BC Universe, cause like- Cause they also hit them up with uh, some free packs of BT10. Right? The, so- BC, they, they, they uh, the package came with four packs of BT10 as well, complimentary with the purchase. So thanks, thanks BC Universe for that. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this box cracking open with the boys on a Saturday. And, Saturdays uh, for the boys. We'll see you all next time. Next is time.